God, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. I want to, I want to open a scripture today. I want to share with you what the Lord has been talking to me. And, uh, and I believe it's going to bless you in a few minutes. Right? I know that uh, you are using your uh, time. But I just want to show, share briefly with you. Popi uh, Mutaun, God bless you in Pretoria. You, you make all efforts to watch the prophet. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Eh? Uh, Tolani, Tolani from Qatar. He's calling from, she, she, they are calling from, they are watching from Qatar, which is the uh, Emirates, 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 Qatar. Dua Qatar. God bless you in Qatar. Matata Eastern Cape is Vusi Muzi. God bless you so much. God bless you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. There's a promise that God is giving us. I want you to listen to this uh, as I am sharing with you. I want you to remember that we are also in the most wonderful time, which is the time that we are preparing for one of the great and significant time in the history of humanity. It is the time when God himself part with himself God splitted himself in from heaven he splitted himself to come down on earth to become a human this is the time that has never happened before is a time it's a something that will never happen even in the future and I'm here to tell you oh glory to God Miriam Lousy God bless you Blood bless you. I know your pastor Mulikwe, Prophet Mulikwe, that Mulikwe, God blesses you in, in Francis Town. This is the time that has never has happened once and it will never happen for eternity. The time that we are remembering today. I think God gives us holidays, gives us times, give us seasons. Some of the seasons is for reminiscent of the things that as God has done for humanity. God has done things for humanity and God wants to keep these things, these things in remembrance. If we remember what the Lord has done, we cannot go back and during this day and during this week, we are remembering what has happened on the planet Earth which is the most powerful thing that a human being can think about. When God displayed his glory upon the earth, when God visited his own planet, when God inhabited the works of his hands, when God split himself into divine and into humanity, mudimu aikarula iba mudimu iba muto. Oh my God, it's a time that the mind of a human cannot explain, but my heart can explain. How can divinity split himself into humanity? What a great miracle that many millions were not ready to grasp. Our minds are too small to grasp. When divinity split himself into, into, into humanity. That's the greatest miracle that it's, it's changing, it's changed the history of our lives in this planet Earth. I want to say to you today, the miracle of the Passover, I don't care about the certain dates, but I care that it is a reminiscent of what God has done. What God has done for us. Remember, God is in heaven. Remember, God has created the heavens and the earth. Remember, God has a will to do whatever he likes. Remember, God himself loved us even before the foundations in this world. And in his love, he created us in the spirit and he created the earth for us. And when the world was in sin, God had to split himself to be in heaven and also to be on earth. What to do? To reconcile men to himself and to fight with the power of darkness that was upon all over the world. What a great, great miracle that has ever happened 
that God himself on the throne came to this world to become a man. We will never forget that. Unkulunkulu ema zului wapenduka waba umuntu. Unkulunkulu omtalum isulu nom shaba. Wapenduka waba njenge zbungu. Wazobzala emshabene au dalile. Ukuze azolanda umtu omtalile. Ewele ezu esonwe. That's the God that I will never forget in my whole life. I am sitting here today because I remember what the Lord has done. Greater things that God has done for you. As we enter into the Passover, we enter with this comfort in our hearts that God came and visited his planet, visited men whom he has created in his own image. I want to I wanna read a scripture today. And this scripture is, is giving us something that will, will, will really bless our lives in the book of Isaiah. Uh, I, I don't worry about, I don't worry about many things. I just want to share and close quickly. I want to check in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter number nine. I want you to listen to the tone. And this tone was, it's Isaiah the prophet who spoke many, many, many years, hundreds and thousands of years before Jesus came to this world. When he gave the children of Israel hope, maybe even before they went to exile, God has already spoken in the midst of darkness that was covered in the earth. One thing that I like about God, God always pro prophesy. Light before darkness even started. He sees salvation even before we fall. That's why when things happen around our lives, God is not surprised. For he saw it before it happened. And he prepared a provision before the problem. God is able to, pro to prepare a, pro a provision before a problem. Now in the book of Isaiah, remember this. Before the problem, before the darkness fall upon the nations of the world, before Israel, Aya Hulehong Babylon, Ayan Tonya Babylon, Alla Shelo Babylon, Ailo Tatapua Gidichab, the Tambini Chatua, Mete Shoka Bahai, God was able to prophesy. He prophesied Christ before crisis. God has a tendency of prophesying solution before problems start. And this is the God that we serve. Verse number 9, it starts by saying, Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in the her vex vexation. When at first he, light, he lightly afflicted the land of Zabilon and the land of Nephtali, and after did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, in Galilee of the nation. The people that walk in darkness have seen a lie, a great light. They that dwell in the land of sh the shadow of death, upon them had the light shine. Thou hast multiplied the nation and not, incre and, and, and not increased their joy. The joy before thee according to the joy of harvest. Now, I want you to listen to the scripture. Those who are reading their Bibles, you will understand my translation start with this. Nevertheless, that the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation when at first he Lightly afflicted the land of Zabilon and the land of Nephtali. What God is saying here in the scripture, in the midst of darkness, God is preparing the people that it shall not so be dark like as it was in the time of Zabilon and Nephtali. What is the Lord saying here? He said there was a darkness in the days of Nephtali and the days of uh, Zabilon. 
by the way of the sea. He speaks about the nation that was sitting in darkness. He said, the time is coming. When light shall come upon you, you shall rejoice like people who are rejoicing for the harvest. Mudimu ore, leko tabajolo kaba toba tabetzing na koya kotulo. Le fifilela la umudimu abu angalona. It's a time when Zabilon, it's a time of Nephtali, some of, the, one of the, the two sons of Jacob, they were out of the, the covenant of God. And because Badeba Chile Silicon and Samudimu, darkness was upon their lives. But the Lord says, victory is coming upon you. It says all the darkness was just for a moment. It will never come upon you. The dim, the dimness that was during his vexation, when God was angry for a certain nation, shall not, Nephtali and the Zabilon shall not come against you anymore. I want you to remember the things that has come upon you. But the Lord say it shall not come upon you anymore. What has come upon Nephtali? The darkness that was upon Zebulun, the, the darkness that was upon the people who was by the way of the sea shall not come upon you anymore. Why this darkness shall not come upon you? Because the Bible says, as you continue, it says, for, for the Bible says, for unto you, the child is born unto you, the son is born, is given. Whom the government is upon his, 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 his shoulders. God is saying, nevertheless, darkness shall not come upon you. Like it fell upon Zabilon and upon Nephtali, upon the nation that was on the way of Galilee and the way of the sea. But for the Lord has brought a provision before the problem. Remember, God spoke about a son. And today we are not facing a, the Christmas day when Jesus is born. But we are facing a day when a son, Jesus was accomplishing the will of God on the cross by dying a horrible death of a crook on the cross. Remember when he was on the, on the, on the cross, there was darkness all over. This darkness was pushing the darkness that was upon Zabilon and Nephtali. And the nation that was living along the sea. When Jesus was on the cross around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. In the Bible time they will say 6 o'clock. Around the time of 3 o'clock in the afternoon. There was darkness all over the world. Upon Jesus there was darkness that nobody has ever seen for a moment. By that time the son of God was crying on the cross and saying why hast thou forsaken me? When, when, he said, I've, when he said, why have thou so forsaken me? The word was echoing from this verse. Nevertheless, whatever you see upon your life is coming for the last time. Whatever you see is coming to say goodbye. Whatever the problems that you have seen from all these years up to 2024, it was coming to, for the last time to say goodbye. May I tell you what the Lord is saying to me? God has told me that 2024, it is a year, greatest year in our lives. Remember when you look at the watch, our watch when it says 11, in our, in our watches, in Japan watches that we buy, it says 23. Remember, when the watch says 2024, it simply means that it is a closing of a chapter. It is a closing of the night, the day. And when the watch comes at 0, 0, dot zero, 0, it simply means that it is the split of the two, the evening and the night and the day. It is, means that the zero, zero, it's nobody's hour anymore. The darkness that you see 12 o'clock midnight, it is not the darkness that comes to kill anybody. It is the darkness that is coming to split your morning, the morning and the yesterday. I prophesy over you right now. 
you are at the place where your night is separated from your day. I'm here to prophesy those who were living in a place of Zabilon and Neftali, the nation that were out of the covenant, something is splitting in your life. In your lifetime, your yesterday and your tomorrow are splitting together. The darkness shall not be there all the time. The darkness that you see is not coming to kill you. It is a darkness that says, now it is we divide the today of your life and tomorrow. Those who were walking whom the burden was upon their life. Their soul was stricken. They were like feeling like dying. They felt like life is over. We are coming to a time today where God is separating your today and your yesterday. And that moment is a very terrible moment. You remember at Egypt, 12 o'clock was the time when that would separate the 400 years of slavery and the Few, the, the coming future of the children of Israel when they cross the river Jordan, the Red Sea, to their promised land. But it had to happen in the zero, zero, dot, zero, zero. I want to emphasize these words that I've been saying almost two weeks. Zero, zero, dot, zero, zero. It is nobody's time. It is a neutral time. It is a time that comes and says, who want to take me to make himself a time? It is a time like when Goliath was shouting and saying, Give me a man. It's not Saul's time. It was also not David's time. It was not Saul's time. It was a time when there was a voice that says, Give me somebody. Who will take this moment? I pray to you, South Africa. You see like it's dark. I see, you see like it's dark in your family. But this moment, there is a call that says, give me a woman. Give me a man. Give me a young person. Who will take this moment and claim it? For this darkness shall not be forever in your life. These things that you see that are torturing you, these things that are scaring your life and making you to be scared of life are just coming to make, to call for the people who can come up. South Africa and the people who are watching me, I'm going to tell you something that will amaze you. This is the greatest time in my life and your life. This is the time that even if you can rise up now, and you begin to grab something, nobody will compete with you. Because it is nobody's time. It is zero, zero, dot, zero, zero. It's nobody's time. It is time when even those who are scared rise up. Nobody can claim this moment. If we go to the scientist, we are scared. Because there is a climate change. If we go to religion, we are scared. We are scared that things are happening that we cannot explain. If we go to politics, things are changing. We don't know where we are standing. The wars are taking place in the world. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know where to wait for the Third World War or Armageddon. We don't know whether we are dying or we are living. We don't, we are, we are uncertain about the future. We are afraid, even those who are saved, children of God, we are afraid if I will be saved even the next two years. We are afraid of our churches. We are afraid of our people. We are afraid of our children. We are afraid of our wealth. We are afraid of what we have worked for for too many years. But God is giving a word through a prophet in time before even the exile is said, Darkness shall no more be there. There shall not be dim anymore. As it was during the days of Zebulon and Naphtali. For unto you the sun 
was born and the son was given. God has given us a solution long ago before the problem. I want you to tell the problem that you are facing today and say, before you were born, before your problem was born, the solution was already born. And the solution was born and it was given as the son. Son means that a matured answer, a matured solution for every kind of problem, every kind of calamity upon the sons of men. God has given. He has given. Tell the devil wherever he is. The son is given. He is given to be a sign to those who are falling. To be a sign even to those who are rising up. It is the rise and, and falling and rising of Israel. The rising and falling of the nations of the world. Jesus is not only the rising, the falling and the rising. We are facing the death of Jesus Christ or the memory of the death of Jesus Christ. But we know that the death is not our celebration. Our celebration is that our hope never remained in the grave. Our hope never when it was never conquered by death. I'm see here to tell you that nothing will conquer the solution that God has given to you. I talk to you, South Africa. I talk to you, church in South Africa. Church in Africa. It's not time to die. The time to rise up. Just a small thing can bring, small event can change the earth. Remember, when Herod arrested Peter. When Peter was supposed to appear at the court, Herod remembered that it was Passover. And he had to postpone the court case. And Peter had to escape during the postponement. You know, one event can make things to be postponed in your life. And during that postponement can be your time to run out of every prison. If the devil aim to kill you in three weeks, it's postponed. But let me tell you the conclusion of postponement. Is that during the postponement, you're going to escape every kind of trouble. You're going to be safe from everything that you are facing. I don't know what you are facing in your life, in your family, in the workplace where you are. But I'm here to tell you. I'm sent by God to tell you. God is about to set you free. No more darkness anymore. The light has come. The sun is a, the, the sun is a solution. Because the Bible says government is on his shoulder. He governs. You don't need to be afraid when things are out of order. The government is on the shoulder of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for you in Jesus' name. Nothing will stand in front of you. Nothing will disturb you. I pray for you that... Darkness will not be there anymore. To those who are crying right now, wipe away your tears. Your solution has come today. For the son is born. Victor Kobi Mulupo. Yes, your, 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 your solution has come. May God bless you. Lerato, I see you. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you, Mudaung. May God bless you. May God bless you. Your solution has come. Darkness is removed from your life. Any part that is dark in your life, even the dark place of your, your spirit, where there was darkness in your spirit, in the name of Jesus, it is removed in Jesus' mighty name. It is removed in your marriage. If there was a days of darkness, they are removed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you the good news. The son is born for you. Yes, he was crucified on the cross. We are celebrating not the crucifixion. We are celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, who never stayed. The, the grave was not, has no power enough to keep our king. Hell and Hades did not have enough power to contain our Jesus, the greater who is greater than all. Jesus is so great, he's so powerful, he does not have a beginning or the end. He is greater, so great that even him, he could not create himself. He's such a creator that the whole world can fit in the palm of his hand. 
He's so greater than your trouble. He's go greater than anything that you are facing in your corner right now. He's greater than your court case. Greater than the people who are planning to kill you. Greater than the people who are pulling you down from your position. He's greater than all. He's greater than people who are gossiping you at the corner to, to cause a, break, a falling down of your business. Greater than all. I see Jesus as greater. He's greater than time. He was prophesied before time that he is the son. And the son whom God loves. He can carry all the loads. He can carry the abnormal loads, even the loads of the countries, the loads of the continents, the whole load of the whole world can be carried upon the head and shoulders of this Jesus Christ. Look at your problem, it's nothing. Comparing this God that we talk about. I declare, I declare, Nevertheless, there will be no darkness anymore. I say 2024, we are on the border. Something great is about to happen to somebody's life. Something great is going to happen upon the nations of the world. I say something great is going to happen. It might come in a way that you don't like or expect, but something great. I want you to walk like somebody who walks in light. I'm saying to you, in economic God is going to give us a breakthrough that we never thought in our hearts. The government is upon him. Governments of this world will finally bow to Jesus. Hey, come on, listen to me. People of this world, the government of men, the kingdoms of men are about to surrender to Jesus and ask Jesus to be the Lord over everything. Every kneel shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ, he is Lord. Jesus is Lord today. Look at your problem and don't look at yourself. Look at the great Jesus. You are free from darkness. No more darkness upon your life. No more darkness. Any place that is dark in your light, in your life, it has been wiped away. There is light. Remember Israel. In one moment they came out of Egypt. The next moment what five minutes to 12 they were poor but five minutes past 12 they were all rich five minutes to 12 they were all sick five minutes past 12 they were all healed five minutes to 12 they were all crying as slaves of 400 years but four five minutes past 12 they were free people i declare the last five minutes you were bound and I declare you are loose today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shall I pray for you today in the name of Jesus? If you want me to pray for you, I want you to just start saying amen, amen, amen. Or you just say amen, you write the name of your place. If you are from, from free state, you say free state because I am praying. And when I pray, I want God to see that there's somebody who represents your country in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me read it again. That nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation. When at first he lightly afflicted the land of Zabilon and the land of Nephtali. But afterwards God is about sent light. And the death of Jesus Christ, it shows us that light has come. We celebrate his death but we celebrate his resurrection. Our lives are going to be resurrected. Pretoria, I pray for you. Limpopo, I pray for you. I pray for you because of this person, Safira, Safaya. I pray for Cape Town, for this person who is here now, Fanelwa. I pray for you, Bloemfontein, because of Peko. I pray for you. I pray for, I pray for nations. I pray for Pulukwani in the name of Jesus, Lord, remember the northern province. In the name of Jesus, I pray for East London, Lord. I pray for KZN, mighty Father God. I pray that there will be peace in KZN, in Jesus' mighty name. I pray especially for Maritzbeck, because of Nogulunga, Baba. I pray for Limpopo, because of Nozipiwe. I pray for Bechley, because of Alfred and 
window. I pray, I pray, Lord, I pray in Jesus' mighty name, free state, because of Mloy Tuto. I pray for Jimmy Stan because of Poe. In the mighty name of Jesus. Don't forget Secunda, oh dear Lord, because of Tapelo. Oh dear Lord God, don't forget Rustenbeck because of Mudise. Dear Lord, I pray. I pray for South Africa. I pray for Botswana. I pray for Lesotho. I pray for Swaziland. I pray for Zimbabwe. I pray for Zambia. I pray for Tanzania. I pray for Kenya. I pray for Uganda. I pray for DRC. I pray for Ghana. I pray for, I, I pray for Nigeria. I pray for all the na nations of Africa. I pray in the name of Jesus for Haman's Kral. I come back to South Africa, Lord. For Nabail Park, I pray for you for, for, for because of Refilio Mekets. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now remember, as I still, still pray, on Friday, 20, this Friday, 29, at a place called Didier in Ferienachen, there is a great, great service. God has laid upon my heart a message that is going to touch your life. God has put to me this Easter is different from the Easter that I have seen in my whole life. I want to invite you to join us from 10 o'clock in the morning of Friday until 5 o'clock there will be service after service. There will be anointing allowed. There will be miracles allowed. There will be preaching of the word that is going to change people tremendously. They will be praying for those who are sick. There will be encouragement to those who want to throw away the towel. There will be not only Muruti, the prophet, the sons of the prophet will be there. Great men like Sikiti, Mathausen, will also be on the platform of gospel fire in this Passover. Uh, Pastor Apostle London Deleki will be standing with me there. And uh, Pastor Mutavini Sylvester will be standing on that platform. And Mbuli from, from KZN will be standing there with a, a roaring, like a roaring lion. He'll be roaring under the tent, under the 3,000 seater tent. He will be roaring and bringing down fire. I will be standing in every service. I will be trusting God for miracles upon people. Even those who were affected many years. I pray for restoration of marriages. Restoration of families. Restoration of hopes, a restoration of those who have lost their Christian walk, those who are down spiritually, you're going to be raised up and you're going to be powerful. Remember, this Friday 29, from 10 o'clock, make sure because our space is limited. You'll see when you come there, you'll see buses, you'll see cars everywhere. Immediately after this program, I will show you the sitting of the place that is ready for Friday, 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm not sending somebody. I'm coming personally with a word of prophecy. I am going to be standing and say what God say I must say upon you, upon your family, upon the country, upon South Africa, upon Africa in Jesus mighty name. And we shall be live for those who are outside the country. You are going to see us everywhere in this country and all over the world. You will be watching what the Lord is doing. If people say revival is over, I want you to see on Friday that we are in the middle of revival. Revival is here. People of God are still here. Glorious, powerful men of God are here. Saturday, 4 o'clock, we have a great service. And if you have young men and young people, you know, you are my favorite young people. Come to the deer. It's in Ferienachen. It's Houting in the south. And uh, I just hope that one of my people there will write the number and the, uh, the addresses where I am going, where the church is. They will give you the church place. They will give you. Make sure, if you need a road map, they will give you the road map to come to the deer. The deer is a place where we believe God 
that we are going to be restored in this Passover. Sunday morning is going to be power and anointing. Don't miss any one or any service because God is going to be with us. I pray for you. Father, I bless these people. Father, I pray for them. The amen are not enough. I know you, 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 want, to, you want to close right now. Just say amen. Five, five amens, I will close. Praise God. A hallelujah one. I'm counting. If uh, This is hallelujah from Sonia Maluke, Maluleke. God bless you. Just thank you for that hallelujah. I'm about to pray for other people, for people, and close this program. God bless you, Teboho, with that amen. God bless you, Faneloa. God bless you, Faneloa. God bless you, Tapelo, Matadi. God bless you, Connie. Connie, amen. Bless you. God bless you. Queen uh, Kuski, Poko Peku, God bless you. Master Muhuata Mutuga, God bless you. Oh, Mapulo, God bless you with your amen. Lidi, God bless you. Master Muhuata, God bless you. Kosi, God bless you. And God bless you all. And God bless you all, my viewers. My viewers. And I love you. And I'm with you. And uh, I'm, 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 I'm praying for you. And I pray that. God's anointing will be upon you and God will give it you the desire of his heart. And I lay hands on you. I say in the name of Jesus, release your anointing Lord upon them right now. In Jesus mighty name, those who are sick, let them be healed. Those who are sick, let them be healed. Those who are desperate, let them see the hand of God. Those who are rejected, let them be reconciled with their enemies. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Ki murutira le kholela ya reng holona ke a le rata ha modimo ntate modimo mo rena wa rona Jesu Kriste modimo wa me ha u helo yohi a be le le rona a le hlono no fatse a le bele bo phelo bo sa feleng ya le hadetseng lefu a le siela bo phelo bo sa feleng ungulungulu makabe nani an busise abe nani an hambis an londolose kuyo yonke indlela magdi yera for you heartlexian may the lord bless you richly don't forget gospel fire family church plot 106 rose road didier plot 106 rose road didier is where we are god bless you hallelujah Bye. See you next time. God bless you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Location Didier. Didier. God bless you.